There are seven steps for you to start making money by selling products on Amazon. And Amazon FBA is one of the best ways to make money online right now. And that's because Amazon has over 200 million prime customers. That is a lot of people buying products from Amazon. And two thirds of all the sales that happen on Amazon's website are from third party sellers. That's people like you and me selling our products on amazon.com. In fact, last year alone, over 200,000 people made at least $100,000 by selling products on Amazon's website. And I've been selling on Amazon for over eight years and I've done over $6 million in sales on Amazon. And I've found that Amazon FBA is one of the best ways to make passive income online right now because FBA stands for fulfilled by Amazon. And this is a way for you to sell products on Amazon's website. And when you get an order, Amazon will handle all the fulfillment of your product to the customer for you. Meaning that when you get an order, Amazon will pick, pack and ship your product from their warehouse and send it to your customer. And you don't have to do any work. The only thing that you need to do is to create a product and get your product sent into the Amazon warehouse. And I'll explain exactly how to do that in just a second. But once you create a product and get your product shipped into the Amazon warehouse, you've basically created a machine that will print you money and Amazon is going to handle all the hard parts of running your business for you. Meaning that you can travel, live wherever you want and spend your time doing what you want to do because Amazon has over 2.4 billion people per month going to their website. And as I mentioned, when you get a sale of your product, you don't have to do anything. Amazon's going to handle all the fulfillment for you. This means that you can remove yourself from the business. You can spend your time doing what you want to do and your business is going to continue to keep making you money. And that's why it's passive income. So hit the like button because I'm going to show you how you can create your own Amazon FBA passive income business right now. The first step to selling on Amazon is to go to sell.amazon dot com and click to sign up. But warning, there's actually two different options when signing up for an Amazon seller account. There is the professional selling plan, which is $39.99 a month, or there's the individual selling plan, which is free. But they hide this feature. In order to sign up for the individual selling plan, you're going to have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on sign up as an individual seller. But if you sign up with this plan, you're going to have to pay an additional 99 cents for every item you sell. Meaning if you're planning on selling 40 or more items, I would recommend signing up with the professional selling plan because it comes with a ton of other features and it'll actually be cheaper in the long run. And once you click sign up, you're going to be taken to this page. You're then going to fill out some information about yourself and your business. If you don't have a legal business structure or a business bank account, you can use your personal information. However, I do recommend setting up your business before you fill out this information. But once you fill out all this information and you click submit, you're going to have your Amazon seller account. And now it's time for you to find a product to sell on Amazon. And I found this product that's doing over $1 million in sales every single month on Amazon. And here's the secret. You can find out how much any product on Amazon is making. All you have to do is go to that product listing page, scroll down to the best selling rank number, copy this and paste it into the free Jungle Scout sales estimator tool, and it will tell you how many units per month that product is selling. Then from there, all you do is multiply that number by the cost of the product. And we can see that this product is doing over $1 million in sales on Amazon every single month. But we're not going to sell this product because there's already someone selling this product. So let me show you how you can find your own product to sell on Amazon. And there's a tool called Helium 10 that makes finding products to sell on Amazon extremely easy. And if you want to sign up for a free account with Helium 10, there is a link down below in the description. I also have the hookup with this company. I have a coupon code that you can use in the description down below that will give you a discount if you want to unlock all the features. But once you've signed up for Helium 10, you're going to use the tool called the magnet tool. And one of the secrets to making money with Amazon is to understand that Amazon is just a search engine. People go to Amazon 
to search for products that they want to buy. They type into the search bar things that they're looking to purchase on Amazon. So if we can figure out what people are typing into the search bar, we can create that product, put it on Amazon and sell that product to the customers. And the magnet tool in Helium 10 allows you to find out exactly how many people per month are searching for different keywords. And I found that over 10,000 people per month were searching for this product in Amazon. And once you have a product idea, you're going to want to create a brand for that product because you want it so that when someone searches in Amazon, your product will stand out. And the best way to do this is to make a brand and product packaging that will pop on the search results because the products at the top of the Amazon search results get most of the sales followed by the second, third, fourth, and fifth place product and so on. And this number is actually exponential, meaning the higher up on the search results your product is, the more likely people are to buy your product. And ultimately, this means more money for you. And before we start selling a product on Amazon, we need to find someone that will manufacture your product. And you can get products manufactured in bulk overseas for extremely inexpensive. Take those same products, ship them into the Amazon warehouse, charge a premium and make a ton of money. And one of the best ways to do this is to go to a website called Alibaba.com. This website will connect you with manufacturers overseas. And the way to use Alibaba.com is to type in the type of product that you're looking to get manufactured overseas. And an example of this is I actually created a set of 100 cocktail recipe flashcards. I actually partnered with a student that was in my Amazon FBA program named AJ. He had never sold anything on Amazon before, but we created and launched this product on Amazon. And in his first year alone, he did over $500,000 in sales. And to find our manufacturer, we just went to Alibaba.com, typed in flashcards, look through all the different manufacturers and we contacted all of them explaining the product that we're looking to create. They all got back to us and told us how much money it would cost and what their MOQ was. And MOQ stands for minimum order quantity, which is basically how much of the product we would have to order in order to get a bulk discount. So we found a manufacturer, paid for the production run. And the next step was to get the products that we had produced, shipped, into the Amazon warehouse so that we could take advantage of the Amazon FBA program. And when you have a product shipped into the Amazon warehouse and you list it for sale on Amazon, it makes it so that your product is prime eligible, meaning that prime customers shopping on Amazon can get the product delivered to them in two days or less. And Amazon is more likely to put prime products at the top of the Amazon search results, which again, ultimately means more money for you. But before you can start selling on Amazon, you need to create an Amazon listing. And this is very easy to do. After you've signed up for your Amazon seller account, you're gonna click to add a new Amazon product. And Amazon is gonna have you fill in some information about your product. You're gonna have to type out what you want the title of your product to be. You're gonna have to upload a main image as well as a bunch of other images. And the point of the main image is to really grab people's attention so they will click on your listing. And the point of all the other side images is to show people the benefits of your product and why they should buy your product. You also have to fill out the text for the bullet points. And this is where you explain why your product is the best product on the market and why people should buy your product. Then you'll put in a description and you'll fill out a little bit more information. This is very easy to do and boom, you have your product listed for sale on Amazon. Now there is one more step that a lot of people skip over, but it's crucial for having a ton of success when selling on Amazon. And that is to properly launch your product. And one of the key ways to have success with Amazon is to get as many sales for your product on day one as possible. That means that you're gonna promote your product using social media, email marketing, whatever you can, and your goal is to get as many sales on day one as possible. What's going to happen is Amazon is gonna see that your product is making a lot of sales and it's gonna put your product higher up in the search results, which is gonna result in even more sales, which is gonna create a snowball effect where your product is gonna make more and more sales every day as your product goes higher and higher up in the search results. And once you get your product to the top of the search results, you have a passive income business that is printing you money because Amazon has over 200 million prime customers that are going to their website every single day looking to buy products. They're gonna find your product and they're going to buy your product. And then since you're part of the Amazon FBA program, 
Amazon's going to handle shipping your product from their warehouse to your customer. Meaning you can spend your time doing what you want to do and you can either continue to grow your business or you can travel, enjoy your life and spend more time with your family. And the only thing you need to do to keep your business running is occasionally send emails to your manufacturer to order more inventory and send that inventory into the Amazon warehouse to make sure that your money printing machine continues to run. And this video that you're watching right here is a complete Amazon FBA tutorial. It's gonna be everything you need to know to get started selling on Amazon. But as a gift, if you watch this entire video, I'm gonna give you a free eight hour step-by-step -step Amazon FBA course, starting with this video so you can get an overview of how to sell on Amazon. And then at the end of this video, I'll give you that free eight hour Amazon FBA course. If this is the first time you're watching this video to just sit back, relax and watch this entire video so you get a complete overview of what it's like to sell on Amazon. Then I recommend you coming back a second time and taking notes on all the different steps. But I purposely made this video so that the first time you watch it, you're not gonna need to take notes. I'm gonna explain everything to you and anything that might not be clear at the beginning of the video will be clear to you by the end of watching this video. And again, e-commerce is growing like crazy. People are buying things online more and more often. And 50% of all e-commerce sales happen on Amazon. So if you wanna make money online right now, you should sell products where people are going to buy products and that is Amazon. And I'm gonna share with you the exact formula I use to be able to make over a million dollars with Amazon. And this is the same formula I've taught to hundreds of people that have also had success selling on Amazon. I've even done a ton of videos on this channel sharing all the successes and failures of people doing this method. I'd recommend checking those out so you can learn from their successes and their mistakes. Now, before we go any further, I do wanna let you know what I'm teaching you here isn't the only way to sell on Amazon, but I do think it's the best. There is Amazon FBA, which is what I'm gonna teach you right now, and there's also Amazon FBM. Amazon FBM stands for Fulfilled by Merchant. And with FBM, you can also sell products on Amazon's website. But the problem is when you get a sale using the FBM model, you actually have to pick, pack, and ship the product out yourself, which means you can't travel, you can't live wherever you want, and it ultimately means that you're gonna be a slave to your business because the bigger your business grows, the more work that you're going to have to do. So I highly recommend, if you're gonna sell on Amazon, to use the FBA model. It's gonna be less work for you. It's actually cheaper because if Amazon's shipping out your products for you, they don't charge you that much for shipping because they have cheap rates with the post office and UPS. On top of that, a really big benefit for using the FBA model is it allows your product to be prime eligible, meaning that people that have a prime membership, which as I mentioned, there's over 148 million people that have a prime membership. It means that they can buy your product and get it shipped to them within two days. And most people that are paying for a prime membership would prefer to actually have a prime eligible product. Amazon knows this and it's more likely to put a product that's prime eligible at the top of the search results, which ultimately means more sales for you and more money in your pocket. And to make it clear, the way that Amazon FBA works is you buy the products that you wanna sell on Amazon's website, you then ship those products into Amazon's warehouse, and whenever you get a sale, Amazon will then pick, pack, and ship your order for you. And there's four different ways that you can sell products on Amazon using the FBA model. There's retail arbitrage, wholesale, private label, and what I recommend doing, which is creating your own product. And you can make money with any of these business models on Amazon, but I will share with you why I think creating your own product is by far the best way to actually create a legitimate passive income business. But first, for those that don't know, retail arbitrage is where you go and you buy a product that's deeply discounted on a store. Maybe they're going out of business. You buy a bunch of these products and then you flip it on Amazon for the higher normal retail price. And after you subtract how much you paid for the product and all of Amazon's fees, you're left over with the profit. And this is a great business model if you don't have a lot of money because you can go and buy a small amount of products, flip them on Amazon, and you can make a decent amount of profit. The problem with retail arbitrage is that it's not a passive income business model. You constantly have to go out to stores, hunt for new deals, and then flip those products on Amazon, and it means that you're constantly having to work over and over again. So I don't recommend this business model if you're trying to create a passive income business. The second business model is called wholesale. This is where you go and you buy a bunch of products. For example, let's say you were to buy a hundred Nike sneakers at the wholesale price, which is 50% off. You then take those products, flip them on Amazon for the normal retail price, 
and you're left with any profit after the cost of you buying the product and the cost of the different Amazon fees. And this is a relatively easy way to make money on Amazon and it's passive income if you can find a certain wholesaler to work with and you can just keep buying from them and keep flipping the products. The problem with this business model is that if it's easy for you to find that wholesaler, there's nothing stopping other people from coming and buying from that same wholesaler and competing with you. And Amazon has become very saturated recently. There's over 4,000 new sellers joining Amazon every day and there's over 1 million active sellers on Amazon but most of them are trying to do the easy thing they're trying to do the wholesale or the private label and you don't want to try to compete with them and for that reason I don't recommend doing wholesale the next business model is called private label and this is where you buy a product from a website like alibaba.com and all you do is you take that product and you slap your logo on it you slap your brand on it and then you try to sell that product on Amazon Again, the problem with this business model is it's way too competitive. If it's easy for you to create that private label product, it's probably easy for your competition to create a very similar product. And this leads to price wars, where your competition will lower their price a little bit, which means you have to lower your price a little bit, which means they lower their price a little bit, and eventually nobody's making money. So what I recommend doing instead is creating your own product and all you have to do is find a hole in the market. Try to find a product that does not yet exist, but people are actively looking for on Amazon. And this could be as simple as taking an existing private label product and trying to niche it down or trying to make it better in some way. For example, AJ lost his job as a bartender during the pandemic. We ended up working together on a product called Cocktail Cards, which is a set of 100 cocktail flashcards which people were going to Amazon to search for but there was no product that existed when people would go to Amazon to search for this product so we created this product and within his first three months of selling this product on Amazon he's done over hundred fifty thousand dollars in sales that's over fifty thousand dollars in profit that's more money than he used to make as a bartender in a year that he's been able to make passively by selling this product on Amazon and I'm gonna share with you in this video exactly how to find a unique product to sell on Amazon and even more importantly I'm gonna show you how to find a product that you're actually passionate about and that's what I recommend if you're going to sell a product on Amazon try to sell a passion product and I'll explain how to do that in depth in this video but the first step is to sign up for your seller account to do this go to sell.amazon.com and pay attention because I'm gonna be sharing some of the biggest mistakes that people make when signing up for a seller account that end up making it so they get banned and they're not able to sell on Amazon. So you wanna make sure you avoid these mistakes. Once you're there, you can click to sign up and then all you have to do is log in to your Amazon account. And if you don't already have an Amazon account, you can create a new Amazon account. And this will sign you up for the professional Amazon selling plan, which is $39.99 a month. Now they're only gonna charge you for one month and they're not gonna charge you for any more months until you actually add a product to sell on Amazon. And the professional Amazon seller plan has a ton of benefits, but one of the biggest ones is you can sell as many products as you want without any kind of fee. The other option is you can sign up for a free individual Amazon seller account, but you will have to pay an extra fee every time you sell an item. And if you wanna sign up for the free individual seller plan, you can scroll down and click sign up to become an individual seller. You can always upgrade your account to the professional selling plan later. So this could be a good way to save a little bit of money. But if you're serious about selling on Amazon, I recommend just going with the professional plan right from the beginning, just because sometimes there could be issues switching from an individual account to a professional account. And before we go to the next step of signing up for your Amazon seller account, one of the most important things is to make sure to hit the like button if you haven't yet, because when you hit the like button, it lets me know that you're enjoying this video. Now, once you log into your Amazon account, it's gonna ask for your your business contact and address. Now you don't need to actually have a business to sell on Amazon. You can always use your social security number, but I do recommend creating a business before you try to sign up for your Amazon seller account. And you can do this by either creating a DBA or an LLC. A DBA stands for doing business as, and it allows you to create a business name that you're doing business as, and this is gonna cost you around $99 through a website like LegalZoom. And by having a DBA, it's gonna allow you to open up a business bank account. The other option is to set up what's called an LLC, which stands for a limited liability company. Now this is usually gonna be a little bit more expensive and gonna cost you anywhere from $250 all the way up to $800, depending on what state you live in. An LLC does provide more legal protection, so I do 
recommend doing an LLC if you're selling a product that there's a chance that you might get sued. And to set up an LLC, you can also use LegalZoom and they make it extremely easy. I do have links down below talking more in depth about how to set up your business from a legal perspective. Next, Amazon's gonna ask you for a mobile phone number or a telephone number. This is pretty easy. If you don't have a phone number, you can always use a Google Voice number instead. After that, they're gonna ask you for a credit card. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I see people making that ends up making it so that they're banned and they can't sell on Amazon is they try to use a debit card instead of a credit card. Make sure to use a credit card and I recommend starting a new credit card that's specifically only for your business so you can separate your personal expenses from your business expenses and start getting those sweet tax write-offs. Next thing they're gonna ask you for is the name of your store. In the name of your store, really doesn't matter that much. You can always change it later. So I recommend starting with something relatively generic that describes the type of business that you're going to have. And if you know the product that you're gonna sell on Amazon, you can always use that as the store name, but you don't necessarily have to. And if you have an LLC, you can use that as the store name if you want, or if you know what product you're gonna sell on Amazon, you can use that as the store name, but at the end of the day, it's not that important and you can always change it later. After that, they're gonna ask you for a copy of your driver's license or your passport, as well as sometimes they'll ask for a bank statement or a utility bill just to confirm that the address that you gave earlier is actually accurate. Now, if you don't have these things, that's okay. There's ways around this. And if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll do an in-depth video on how to sell on Amazon, even if you live outside the United States or even if you don't have a utility bill. After that, they're gonna ask for your EIN number. And EIN stands for Employer Identification Number. And you can get an EIN number online for free. This is just a number so that the IRS can actually track your business and they know how much money you're making. But again, if you're selling as an individual and not as a business, you can always just use your social security number instead if you're in the United States. If you're outside the United States, there's other things that you can do. About half the students that I teach are from outside the United States and they're able to sell in the United States on Amazon even though they don't have a social security number. So no matter what, there is a solution. After that, Amazon's gonna ask you for your bank information. And I do recommend if you have an LLC or a DBA to set up a business bank account and use that business bank account information to set up your Amazon account. If you're outside the United States, you can always use a bank like Payoneer or World First. Links to both those in the description below. Before we go into step two, I do recommend that once you set up your Amazon seller account, that you make sure and not change any of the details for at least a month or two. If you change some of the details within the first month or the second month, sometimes this is a red flag for Amazon and Amazon might suspend your account. And a lot of times Amazon will reach out and want to do a quick Zoom interview with you just to make sure you are who you say you are. But once you have your Amazon seller account, step two is to find a product to sell on Amazon. And this is called product research, where you're basically researching what kind of a product you wanna sell on the Amazon platform. And I'm gonna share with you five different Amazon FBA product research techniques. These are techniques that are gonna help you to find a $50,000, $100,000 plus Amazon FBA product. But before we get into that, it's important to know that there's certain things that you should look for when trying to find a product to sell on Amazon. In fact, I have a whole checklist of things that you should look for in a product that you're going to manufacture and sell on the Amazon platform. Some of these things that you should look for is you wanna make sure that it's gonna be a product that's easy to ship. You wanna make sure it's not gonna break during shipping, that it's not gonna leak during shipping, that it's not gonna to be too heavy to ship because if it's really heavy, Amazon's gonna charge you a lot of fees. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure you find a product that's at a good price point. You're gonna to wanna to find a product that you can sell somewhere between $15 up to around $85. The product you're trying to sell is below $15. It's really hard to make a profit because of all the different Amazon FBA fees, the cost of your product. It's kind of hard to make a profit on any product that's below $15. In any product that's above $85 or so, you're probably not gonna get a lot of sales for, and there's other complications that come in if a product's too high of a price. You also wanna make sure that your product's going to actually be profitable. And generally, I like to shoot for a 33% profit margin, meaning whatever the price of your product is, you can think about a third of the cost should go to manufacturing the product, and then another third of the cost should go to the Amazon FBA fees, and the last third is for you. It's actually money that you can put in your pocket as profit. Now, obviously you wanna to try to find a product that's as profitable as possible, but generally I try to go for a minimum of somewhere between 25 
to 33% profit margins. And there's an entire list of things that I look for in a product that I'm going to sell on Amazon. And I'll talk about some more of these as I go over the different product research methods. Also, if you wanna get a free Amazon FBA product research checklist, there's a link down below. You can join the free Amazon FBA course. And when you click to join that, I'll actually send you this PDF for free with a checklist of everything you should look for in an Amazon product. And the first two product research methods I'm going to share with you do involve using a tool called Helium 10. And if you've been having an issue coming up with an idea for a product to sell on Amazon, this tool and these methods could really help you out. The next three after that methods I'm gonna share with you are completely free. And here's the secret, you can actually get and use Helium 10 for free. I'll put a link down below. When you sign up using my link, all you have to do is put your mouse on the screen and then kind of hover off and it will ask you if you want to sign up for a free trial of Helium 10. Sign up and you can actually use a lot of the features of Helium 10 for free. So if you're serious about finding an Amazon FBA product using this paid tool, I recommend upgrading to a paid plan. I do have a discount code for 50% off. You can look in the description down below for that. But again, you can always just use the free trial of Helium 10 if you want to just try it out to get started. And keep in mind, there's a lot of different tools out there that can help you to do product research for finding your Amazon product. Helium 10 and Jungle Scout are probably two of the biggest ones. I have done videos before comparing these two tools. They're very similar. For me personally, I prefer Helium 10. But now I'm gonna share with you how to actually do product research using the first method, which is the keyword method. And using this method, I found a product that does $50,000 per month. I actually took this idea and I actually ended up giving this product idea to a student that's in my Amazon FBA course, the Passion Product Formula, and he's now doing $50,000 a month with this product idea. Let me show you how I found this product idea and ultimately how you can find your own product to sell on Amazon. The first thing you wanna do for this technique to find a product is to sign up for Helium 10. Whether or not you're signing up for the paid version or the free trial, you can use the link in my description. Once you've signed up, you're gonna go and use the Magnet 2 tool. And this tool lets you know how often per month people are searching different search phrases in the Amazon search bar. And the goal here is to find a product that people are searching for on Amazon a lot. A lot of people are searching per month, but yet that product has little to no competition. Because if a lot of people are searching for this product and you're the only one selling it, well, guess what? They're going to buy your product. And to start using this tool, you're gonna to need to put in a seed search phrase. Basically, what I like to do is anytime I'm on Amazon, I'm looking to buy something, I take whatever I typed into Amazon and I put it into this Magnet 2 tool. And the other day I was looking for a gift and I typed in to Amazon bartender book. Basically a book that's gonna teach people how to become a bartender, teach people how to make cocktails. So I took that search phrase and I put it into the Magnet 2 tool. And this tool will give you a ton of things that are being searched on Amazon and it will tell you exactly how many times per month that search phrase is being searched on Amazon. So the next secret, what I like to do is sort this list in order by Magnet IQ. This basically tells you how good of an opportunity Amazon thinks this product idea is. And the higher the Magnet IQ number, the more likely if you were to sell a product using this search phrase, the more likely you are to have success. The next step is to start looking at all the search phrases that this tool recommends. Now, one of the search phrases it recommends is the Nutribullet RX. Well, this seems like it might be a good product. It's lightweight, it's easy to ship, but the problem is this is actually a branded product. This is someone else's business. And when someone goes to Amazon and searches Nutribullet RX, they wanna buy a very specific thing. And since that's a branded term, that's something we're going to avoid. As I scroll down and continue to look at the search phrases, the next thing I see is cocktail shaker set. So I can click on this and I can see what is the competition like on Amazon. And there is a ton of competition. So I personally would avoid trying to sell some kind of a cocktail shaker set. Unless there's a way that you can really make a unique product, make your own spin on it, make something that people are interested in buying that's different from what's already out there. But as I'm looking at this, there's so much competition, I wouldn't wanna try to compete with this. And so that leads me to some other things to consider when looking for a product on Amazon. You wanna have a product that has low competition. You wanna have a product that's relatively unique. When you put your product on Amazon, you wanna be the only product like yours on Amazon. And another important thing I always look for when trying to find a product to sell on Amazon is I wanna sell a premium product. I want my product to be the best product on the market. And the way to do this is to try to find a product and try to improve it in some way. So as I keep going down this list, once I get to page three and page four, I find a phrase, bartending cards. 
and I can actually go up to the top of Helium 10, and if I click on the Cards button, it'll show me all the different search phrases that includes the word cards. And we have bartending flashcards, cocktail recipe cards. We have a bunch of different things that people are searching for, and they're all looking for the same thing. They're looking for flashcards that will teach them how to make cocktails or teach them how to become a bartender. So I found this idea and I actually shared this idea on YouTube over a year ago, but I ended up giving this idea to a student in the Passion Products Formula and we ended up partnering on this business called Cocktail Cards. And the crazy thing is, with this idea that I shared publicly with the entire world, he ended up doing over $100,000 on Indiegogo. And if you're familiar with Indiegogo, that's just in pre-sales. So he made $100,000 in pre-sales before he even did a production run. He then took that money and he started his Amazon business. He was able to start his Amazon business with $0. And within three months of launching his product on Amazon, he had done almost $150,000 in sales from this product. Now here's the secret on why he was able to have so much success with this product. When I first found this product idea and people were searching for cocktail flashcards, cocktail recipe cards, there was no products like that on Amazon. There was bartending books, there was cocktail recipe books, but there was no flashcards. And people were actively searching for that on Amazon. So when we created this product and started selling it on Amazon, of course it was gonna do well because there was no competition. So again, ideally you wanna find a product that people are searching for, but that there's no competition. Now sometimes it's hard to find a product like that. The other thing that you could do is try to find an existing product and try to figure out a way to improve it. Now if you're having an issue coming up with an idea for your product using that first method, I recommend using the second product research method, which is black box. And this is also a tool from Helium 10, but what makes this tool special is you can actually specify exactly what kind of products or keywords that you wanna see. And you can tell Helium 10 to only show you ideas that would be in a price range of let's say $15 to $85. You can also specify in revenue how much the different products it's going to show you does. And basically what this tool is gonna do is show you a list of products or search phrase ideas that match the criteria that you put in. You then do the same process, you go through these and you look and see how much competition is there. The third product research technique, and this is a free technique, is to look at the Amazon bestseller list. And the key with this method is that the riches are in the niches. You're gonna click on the bestseller list and then click on a category and then click on the subcategory and then click down again on the subcategory and click down again on the subcategory of that and really look at what is the bestseller in these very niche categories. And what I recommend doing is looking at the top products that are being sold and try to figure out how you can improve those products. This is also gonna give you an idea of what people are buying on Amazon. For instance, I see here that people are buying a lot of peanut butter on Amazon. So I'd ask myself, how do I make a better peanut butter product? Well, I do know that the ketogenic diet has been pretty popular for the last few years and that peanut butter is not technically ketogenic, but is there a way to make peanut butter more ketogenic, maybe adding some ingredients like MCT oil that's gonna make peanut butter more ketogenic. And actually, if you look in Helium 10, people are searching for keto peanut butter. So this is a light bulb moment and this is a really good opportunity. And by looking at the bestseller list and looking in all the subcategories, you can come up with a really amazing product idea. Another free way to find a profitable Amazon product is to use the Amazon search bar. Most people don't know this, but when you start typing a word into Amazon, it tells you what the most common things people are searching for in Amazon using the first couple letters that you have typed. For instance, if you put vegan space, it'll tell you all the most common things when someone types the word vegan space, what they're most likely to type in next. So what I recommend doing is going to the Amazon search bar and type in whatever you're interested in and start putting the letter A, B, and C. And so for instance, if we were to put in the word vegan space A, B, and C, by the time we get to C, I see vegan candy. And if we go and we look at all the different vegan candy, I can see right now that none of this candy really markets itself hard as vegan candy. So there's an opportunity right there. If you came out with the first really vegan candy and that was the whole focus of your brand, you could probably make a lot of money. And the fifth product research method is to come up with a passion product. Now, anytime you go to Amazon and you search for something and no one is selling it on Amazon, that is a light bulb moment. If that product doesn't exist, it's up to you to create that product because if you want it, there's probably a lot of other people out there that would want that same product. And I do personally recommend 
finding a product that you're actually passionate about, something that you're actually interested in. Because if you actually have passion about your business, it's gonna make it a lot easier to make an amazing product and it's gonna make it a lot easier to market your product. Now here's a secret that a lot of people don't know. You can actually tell exactly how much money any product on Amazon is making. There's two different ways I'm gonna show you on how to find this out. The first one is you can go to any product listing, scroll down to the best selling rank number, copy that number and paste it in the free Jungle Scout sales estimator. You then hit enter and it will tell you exactly how many units per month this product is selling. Then multiply that by the cost of the product and you can know how much any product on Amazon is making. The second way you can do it is to download the free Helium 10 Chrome extension. And then when you go to a product on Amazon, then just click on the Helium 10 extension and click on X-Ray and it will tell you in dollars how much that product is making per month. Once you know what the product you're going to sell on Amazon is, it's time to create a brand. And this is a key step that's gonna make you a lot more profit. Because for example, look at this product and this product. Which one would you pay more for? Probably you'd pay more for this product. In fact, this product you might pay $5 for, where this product you might pay $10 for. The key thing is these products cost the same to manufacture. This one looks like it's worth more money because it has a really strong brand, which ultimately means more profit for the owner of this business. You wanna do the same thing with your product. You wanna create a strong brand so you can charge more money and ultimately make more profit. And it's very easy to create a brand. All you're gonna to have to do is hire a designer that's gonna design a logo for you and then the packaging of your product. And you can find a designer on websites like Fiverr, Upwork, or 99designs. On Fiverr, hiring a designer for your logo is gonna cost you somewhere between $5 to $300. On Upwork, it's gonna cost you somewhere between $50 and $500. And on 99designs, it's gonna cost you somewhere between $300 all the way up to $800. With Fiverr and Upwork, the way it works is you'll hire a specific designer, one designer, and they'll create a logo for you. Now the problem with this is, if you don't like the logo, too bad, you still have to pay. That's why I recommend doing a 99 designs campaign. And this is what I actually did for my brand, Performance Nut Butter. With 99 designs, you'll spend somewhere between three to $800 and you'll open up a contest. This allows you to get hundreds of designers working for you and you can pick whatever your favorite one is. You can then take whoever designed your logo and have them design your packaging or you can run another campaign for the design of your packaging. But once you have your idea and your packaging design, it's time to find a manufacturer to work with. And this is actually extremely easy to do. And it's going to depend on whether you wanna find a manufacturer in another country like China, or if you wanna find a manufacturer here in the United States. Now, if you're selling a food product, supplements, or something that's consumable, I highly recommend getting your product manufactured in the United States. For most other products, it's gonna be a lot less expensive to get it manufactured overseas in China. So I'll talk first about how to find a manufacturer in China, and then after that, I'll talk about how to find a manufacturer in the United States, as well as share with you some of the big red flags you should look out for when trying to find a manufacturer to work with. And there's five steps to getting your product manufactured. The first step is to search for different manufacturers. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second using Alibaba.com. The second step is to identify who the best manufacturer is and start communicating with them, start negotiating with them. The third step is to get a sample of the product that you're going to purchase. This is extremely important and I'll explain why in just a minute. The fourth step is to negotiate. I'm gonna share some tactics with you that's gonna make it so your price is gonna be a lot lower, which again, ultimately means more profit for you. Step number five is to place the order. And I'm gonna share with you how to actually send money to your manufacturer, to a manufacturer overseas in China to make sure that you don't get scammed. So make sure you pay attention to that. And the first thing you're gonna do when trying to find a manufacturer for your product is go to alibaba.com. And this is a huge database of manufacturers all over Asia, including in China. And what you're gonna do from here is instead of searching for products, you're gonna change the dropdown to searching for suppliers. Then you're gonna type in whatever you're looking for a manufacturer for. For instance, for cocktail cards, we're looking for a manufacturer for flashcards. Now here's the secret to making sure you get the best manufacturers. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you check trade assurance and check that they're a verified supplier. Manufacturers that are verified basically means that Alibaba has sent someone out to that manufacturing facility and verify that they're actually a legitimate business, that they're not just some kind of a scammer. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to start doing is messaging the different manufacturers and seeing if they can make your specific product. Now keep in mind, most manufacturers are willing to customize products. They may charge you a little bit more money, 
but it'll be worth it in the end. Now I do have a complete tutorial that goes into a lot more depth on how to use Alibaba that I'll link up here and down below. But after you've contacted a number of different manufacturers, you're gonna figure out who's the manufacturer that you most likely wanna work with. Now I do recommend trying to get a free sample of your product from a few different manufacturers just to compare quality. Because one manufacturer might be a little bit cheaper, but it could be that the quality of the products that they're selling is also cheaper, and you may end up having a lot more issues with that manufacturer. And after you get the samples from the manufacturers, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you negotiate with your manufacturer to get the cost of your products down as low as possible. But once you feel like you have a cost that makes sense for your product, it's time to actually place the order and send payment. You can do this using Alipay, and Alipay is kind of like PayPal, but for Alibaba. And the cool thing about using Alipay is when you send money to the manufacturer, if for any reason there's any issues, Alibaba will actually give you your money back. Now maybe you don't wanna get a product manufactured overseas. Maybe you wanna get a product manufactured right here in the United States. And it's actually really easy to find a manufacturer here in the United States. And you're gonna to wanna to use Google to do this. Type in whatever your product is, space manufacturer, space private labeler. You're gonna get a list of different results on Google of people that can manufacture your product for you. I recommend calling as many of these people as possible and ask them, can they manufacture the product that you wanna create? Now you'll probably be able to find a manufacturer using simply the Google method, but if you can't, I did a full video going into a lot more detail about how to find a manufacturer here in the United States. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Now, once you're done manufacturing your product, you're gonna to wanna to get your product shipped over from China into the Amazon warehouse, or if you get it manufactured in the United States, from your manufacturer's warehouse into the Amazon warehouse. And I'll talk about how to get your product shipped from your manufacturer's warehouse into the Amazon warehouse in just a couple minutes. But before you do that, I highly recommend doing step number five, which is to create a listing for your product on Amazon. And to do that, you're gonna go into your Amazon seller account, go to inventory and click add a product. And Amazon's gonna ask you what category do you wanna sell your product in? What I recommend doing is finding a similar product to yours, figuring out what category they're selling in and just sell in the same category. It's then gonna ask you what you want the title for your product to be, as well as some other information. Amazon will also ask you what you want the price of your product to be, as well as what you want the image for your product to be. And during this part of the process, you can also upload a lot of additional other images as well. You can then add a description and bullet points for your product. Now this is one of the secrets to having success on Amazon. You wanna make your product stand out. You wanna make your product listing as amazing as possible because that's gonna make it so more people are going to buy your product. And again, remember, Amazon is a search engine. People go to Amazon to search for things that they wanna buy. And when you search for something in Amazon, all you can really see is the main image, the title of the product, the price, and the number of reviews. So you wanna make sure you optimize all of these things as much as possible. Let's start with the main image. You wanna have a main image for your product that really stands out, that really pops compared to all your competitors, and something that's really clean and looks really professional, because this is all people have to go by when they're in the search results for Amazon. Now for the title of your product, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you include as many keywords as possible. And keywords are things that people are searching for in Amazon. Because Amazon doesn't really know what your product's about unless you tell it what it's about. And if Amazon sees that in the title of your product, it says keto nut butter, and someone is searching for keto nut butter, it's more likely to show your product in the search results. Now I personally recommend selling a premium product, which means you're probably gonna have a higher price than your competitors. But again, ultimately, even if that lowers your sales, it's gonna mean more profit for you. And one of the most important things that determines whether or not someone's gonna click on your Amazon listing in the search results is how many reviews you have and how good those reviews are. Obviously, you wanna have as many five-star reviews for your product as possible. You wanna have as high of a rating as possible. And I'm gonna talk about in step seven, how to get a ton of reviews on Amazon. And this is one of the big keys to getting your product listed as high up in the search results as possible, is getting as many reviews possible. And again, remember, the higher up your product is in the search results, the more likely someone's gonna click on it. I mean, think about this. When's the last time you went to Amazon and you went to page two, three, four, five, and clicked on and bought a product from all the way there? 
You probably don't. You probably are more likely to buy the products at the top of the search results. The same thing's true for your customers. But when someone clicks on your product from the search results, your job is not done yet. You still have to convince them to actually purchase your product. And this is where the other images, bullet points, the description, and a few of the things I'll talk about come into play. First off, when someone clicks on your product in the search results, they're brought to your product listing page. And this is a chance for them to get to know your product and decide whether or not they want to purchase your product. And it's your job to try to convince them to purchase your product. And one of the ways that you can do this is by adding a lot of side images, other images. Because remember, when someone's buying something online, they can't hold it in their hands. You need to help them imagine what it's going to be like to own your product. And to do this, you're going to want to have photos that show the benefits of using your product. You can show your product from multiple different angles. You can show your product being used. You can even add an image comparing your product to your competitors and showing why your product is better. The same thing is true with the bullet points. When you're adding a product onto Amazon, they allow you to add up to five bullet points. This is another chance for you to convince people to buy your product and explain all the different benefits of your product. In the bullet points, you're also going to want to add keywords, which again is things that people are searching for on Amazon. Another trick I recommend is for your fifth bullet point to say that there's a 100% money back guarantee because all products on Amazon have a 100% money back guarantee. And this is going to let customers know if they buy your product and they don't 100% love it, they can get their money back, which means they're more likely to purchase your product. When you're adding a product to Amazon, they also allow you to add a description. This is another opportunity for you to convince people to buy your product. Now, another thing I recommend doing if you really want to go the extra mile is to add a questions and answer section and have people you know ask questions on your product listing page that people are likely to ask and go in and answer them. You can also add a video on your product page, which is going to make it even more likely that people are going to want to buy your product. And once you're done listing your product on Amazon, it's time to get your products shipped from your manufacturer into the Amazon warehouse. Now, the reason I recommend creating your listing before shipping your products into the Amazon warehouse is you actually need to get an FN SKU for your product. An FN SKU is a barcode that you're going to put on all your products so that when you send it into the Amazon warehouse, Amazon knows that it's your product and they know what to do with it. And the only way to get this FN SKU is to create a listing. Now, what I recommend doing is telling Amazon not to make your listing live just yet and telling Amazon that your product won't be ready for a couple of months. This will give you time to get your product shipped from your manufacturer into the Amazon warehouse. Step six is to ship your product from your manufacturer into the Amazon warehouse. And how you do this is gonna depend on a few different factors. If you had your product manufactured overseas, you have two options on how to get it shipped into the Amazon warehouse. You can either do air shipping or sea shipping. And there's pros and cons to both of these. With air shipping, it's gonna be a lot faster, a lot easier, but it's gonna be a lot more expensive. On the other hand, with sea shipping, it's gonna be a lot slower at a minimum of five to six weeks, but it can take up to three months if you do sea shipping, where air shipping on the other hand is gonna take somewhere between five to seven days. And prices for air shipping is gonna generally be around seven to nine dollars per kilogram, depending on the size and volume of your product. On the other hand, sea shipping is generally gonna be around two to four dollars per kilogram. Again, if you have a very lightweight product, but it takes up a lot of space, that price is gonna be higher. But generally speaking, air shipping is around three times the cost of sea shipping. And to get your product shipped to the United States is actually very easy. And keep in mind, you don't need to directly ship from your manufacturer into the Amazon warehouse. A lot of my students like to have their product shipped from China to their house first so that they can inspect it themselves. Now, you don't necessarily need to inspect it yourself. You can hire inspectors in China for around $100. They'll spend an entire day inspecting your product. And to do that, you can go to Alibaba.com. They have inspection services. Same thing with getting your product shipped into the United States. You can use Alibaba.com or Fredos.com. Both these people will help you to get your product shipped from China into the United States and even into the Amazon warehouse. On the other hand, if your manufacturer is in the United States or if you had your product shipped from China into your garage and to your house and now you're going to be shipping it into Amazon, all you have to do is go into your Amazon seller account, 
select the item that you want to send inventory in for and select send slash replenish inventory. You're then gonna go through a step-by-step -step process where Amazon asks you how big the individual unit you are gonna be sending in to Amazon is, as well as how big is the box that you're putting each of your individual units in and how many units are in that box. You also have to give Amazon the weight and dimension of the master case that you're putting all your individual units in, as well as how many of these master cases are you sending in. Amazon will then generate stickers that you can print out yourself on sticker paper that you will put on these boxes and you can drop off these boxes at your local UPS. However, if you're sending in a full pallet of your products from either your house or from an American manufacturer, you can request Amazon to actually send a truck to your house or to your manufacturer. They will then pick up the pallet from your house or your manufacturer and basically take care of everything from there. This entire process of sending your products into the Amazon warehouse is extremely easy. If you've ever shipped any kind of a package using UPS or the post office, it's exactly the same process. Amazon gives you the stickers. All you have to do is drop it off at your local UPS or you can even ask for a truck to come pick it up from your house. Now, before we get into step number seven, which this step is one of the most common steps that new Amazon sellers miss. And it's why so many people fail with Amazon is because they're not properly doing step number seven. Before we get into that, however, make sure if you haven't yet to like this video, because once this video gets a thousand likes, I'll be releasing the next video in the free Amazon FBA series. And the next video is gonna be in detail how to get your product shipped from your manufacturer into the Amazon warehouse. I'm gonna go over all the details. So if you haven't yet, make sure you hit the like button. But now let's get into step number seven, which is launching your product on Amazon. And this is extremely crucial. Remember, the goal with Amazon is to get as many sales and as many reviews as possible from day one, within your first week, within your first month, so that Amazon knows that you're selling an amazing product. When Amazon knows that you're selling an amazing product, they're going to promote your product, which is gonna mean that you're gonna get even more sales and Amazon's gonna promote your product even more and this is just gonna snowball and snowball because with Amazon, the goal is to get on the top of the search results and once you're at the top of the search results, your business is gonna be generating you passive income. So make sure you pay attention to this step number seven. And the question you might be asking yourself is, how do I make sure I get as many sales as possible from day one of selling my product on Amazon? Well, this is where the passion products formula idea comes into play. One of the most crucial things that you can do when trying to launch a product on Amazon is to start marketing your product before you even sell it. And this sounds kind of counterintuitive because you don't have anything to sell. Why would you spend time marketing? Well, what you're gonna be doing is you're building up a launch group. You're building up a tribe of people that are excited for the launch of your product so that when you do finally go to launch it, they're gonna be the first ones to go to Amazon to buy it. They're gonna be highly likely to leave you five-star reviews. And there's multiple different ways that you could build a launch group. One of the best ways to do this that is totally free is to utilize social media. And that's what AJ did and why he's been able to make over a few hundred thousand dollars with his Amazon FBA product because he used the power of TikTok. And there's TikTok, there's YouTube, there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's podcasts. There's so many different ways for you to start reaching people and letting people know that you're gonna be coming out with a really amazing product. And as you grow your audience on social media, I highly recommend trying to get them to sign up for an email list. Because when you go to launch your product, you're gonna email everybody on the email list and let them know that your product is live on Amazon. Another thing you can do is take people from your social media and start a Facebook group. And a Facebook group is a really great way, not only to get people excited about your product, not only to increase the number of sales you're gonna get on your Amazon product, but another really important thing about a Facebook group is you're starting a tribe. You're creating a tribe of people that you can ask questions to. So as you're designing your product, you can show them all the different logos, ideas that you've come up with and ask them, what do you think the best logo idea is? And now your potential customers are actually helping you to build their dream product. And so when you go to launch it, of course they're gonna purchase that product. Another thing you can do to increase your Amazon sales from day one is use Amazon PPC. And Amazon PPC is a way for you to rank at the top of the Amazon search results right away from day one. And the way the Amazon PPC works is you pay per click. And it's a way for you to advertise on Amazon where you pay every time someone clicks on your ad. Now the benefit of this is you're gonna be able to rank at the top of the search results 
right away. You're gonna get a lot of sales right away. The downside, however, is you're gonna have to spend a little bit of money. But Amazon ads are one of the best and easiest ways for you to advertise your product. In fact, on average, for every $1 that people spend on Amazon ads, they get $4 in sales. That's an ROI of 4X. And last year, businesses spent over $10 billion on Amazon ads. And the reason businesses were willing to spend so much money on Amazon ads is because they work. 66% of people searching to buy a product online actually start their search on Amazon. So it makes sense for you to advertise your product on the place where people are searching to buy a product. And selling on Amazon is one of the best ways to create a legitimate passive income business. And that's why I created a free Amazon FBA course that you can get completely for free by clicking right here. This is a playlist of YouTube videos. So when you click on this playlist right here, you're gonna get six hours of content and it's all on YouTube, it's all for free. So click right there and I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.